Hello and welcome back and today I want to show you guys how to access your Synology NAS via the internet. I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a Synology account very very easily but moreover show you guys just how easy it is to access your Synology NAS anywhere in the world. But a few disclaimers straight away off the bat. First and foremost on screen there you can probably see my CPU is going absolutely bananas. That's nothing to do with the fact that this video is to do with internet access. This is because of something else I'm preparing for a future video. I'm going to be doing Plex Media Server testing as well as a Plex Media Server setup guide on this NAS. This is the brand new DS220 Plus and with this video I will be doing 1080p and 4K tests but although I've uploaded um, quite a few gigabytes of data onto this device it's worth highlighting that I still need to do the thumbnail generation and the, ink, uh, the photo recognition for Synology's Moments application. Because of that a lot of the resources of this NAS are being utilized in the background. I could have delayed this for an hour but I've got quite a few videos lined up over the next few days with this device and technically every second counts. So I apologize for that CPU being high. That is not um, symptomatic of the, the utilization of this device in everyday settings. It's just because right now I'm doing a huge task here on this dual core NAS in the background. Second thing you may have noticed, the sound quality is a little tinny. Uh, I am trying to control a number of feet, uh, things happening here in the background. This is being recorded during self-isolation and the COVID a kind of effect here all around the world and because of that I am not using my primary setup or in my primary location consequently the sound quality is not as great as I'd like and I am using several dampeners for some noise happening just outside of this recording room now so I apologize if that comes across in the tinniness of my voice but let's get straight into it I've used a couple of minutes of your life this is being recorded using OBS right there as you can see there we're dipping into the red while I'm doing a bit of control there and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create internet access on your NAS. Network access is, you know, painfully straightforward. Here you can see a couple of NASes that are accessible over the network that I've used their tool, but sometimes you want to access your NAS over the internet. Uh, maybe you've got clients that need to access files. Maybe you're trying to access the device to watch multimedia um, in a hotel room. Maybe you're sharing files, movies, music, and more. Um, with other family and work colleagues. In order to go ahead with this, first thing we need to do is go into the control panel. And what we need to look at are these two options here, external access and quick connect. And what we need to establish is the quick connect. In order to do that, we then have to verify the external access. So first thing we need to do is enable quick connect, ticking this box. The next thing you'll need to do is create a Synology account. Now, the Synology account's not going to cost you any money. You don't have to really do much more other than give them your email address and create a password for external access. And what they'll do is effectively use the Synology server as a kind of conduit point to access your NAS. So when you're utilizing and accessing your NAS remotely, you're not actually directly accessing the NAS. What you'll be doing is going through the Synology authentication server. Your data won't be traveling through them, but the authentication will. Now, you can either create the account separately if you choose here, or you can create the account here by logging in or clicking this button here and you either installing your preset credentials or adding brand new credentials and creating a brand new account. This pop-up will take a second or so to open and when it does, you'll be invited to enter your login information. From here, you can choose to either create a brand new account if you so choose by clicking that banner and it will open the Synology website that you saw already open in that other tab. It's very easy. They don't need a huge amount of information here. And from here, you can get access to an entire dashboard that allows you to monitor multiple Synology NASes. For me, I'm going to enter my already existing information here and go ahead with the installation. Once you've clicked OK and entered the information for your login, what it will do now is communicate with the Synology servers and therefore linking this NAS to your online account and from here you need to confirm that you agree to the terms and conditions do recommend that you check those out anyway and from there that's it after there you just need to give the NAS a name because this NAS not only because you may have multiple Synology NASs on your account but also because your uh, the ID is what you're going to be utilizing to recognize this NAS remotely so in the case of this device we're going to call this one the DS 220 plus it will then check if that username has been taken 
and this is going to be the quick connect id for this account and this nas so it's saying that it's already in use sadly which isn't a huge surprise it's not exactly a unique name so now we'll call it ds220 plus test we'll go ahead and we will apply this test name it will go ahead and confirm and once again uh, uh, connect this Synology account that I've got already existing that we've used in previous videos and it will associate it with this Synology NAS. It's now initializing the connection between the two and then it will give you a web link that you can use to directly connect to this NAS. Alternatively, you can log directly into your Synology account and get more real-time information about this and other Synology NAS. As you can see, here is the links for each of the services. You either use this one at the top to go directly into the NAS if you choose or directly into individual apps or use this for the mobile application where you can enter uh, quick connect login credentials for your Synology NAS. If you try to access this link on a local area network, it will convert back into the IP. But otherwise, this link here is what you will be accessing your Synology NAS while it makes its way through. As you can see, it's converted it back into the IP because of the local area network, but that won't change if you're accessing the device remotely. And that is how to set up remote access to your Synology NAS. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, click like. If you want to learn more, click subscribe. And I will be going through some of the other things that you can do with your brand new Synology NAS in 2020. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.